this. Um, not the first time we've seen him play well, but uh, um, just how much can a game like this mean for, for his confidence going forward? Yeah, same thing. You know, just shows preparation. You know, that kid is such a – he's such a great kid and such a team guy. I mean, he's the epitome of all in, you know, and he, he redshirted. Back up as a redshirt freshman, kind of getting better. And, man, he's been grinding. And then Skowski comes back. And, you know, it's like, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's kind of had to be patient. Um, but, you know, that's what it's all about. Your opportunity shows up and you go out there. And, I mean, he's got, you know, 13 tackles and a sack and two and a half tackles for loss. And, I mean, I mean, just incredible. But that's a credit, you know, for him and how he's prepared. I mean, he is an incredibly committed young man to this program. And uh, I'm really, really proud of him. I mean, he was he was tremendous. Did you see some evidence of this offense sort of growing up in some of the fire that you saw in the fourth quarter? Oh, I mean, DJ, yeah. Justin, and Will. Oh, well, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. That's what's so frustrating is we didn't really get enough um, reward for what I was seeing. But it's coming, you know. I mean, listen, we're we're kind of we're kind of who we are right now. Um, you know, we're young on that side of the ball, and we've got some guys that are going through some growing pains. We've got, you know, some, a few growing pains going on in a couple spots. But, but you know, um, you got three phases. And uh, obviously we're, uh, we're kind of led by our defense right now, uh, as we knew we would be. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we took some steps forward today. And, again, it might not necessarily be some things that make people go wow and see, but I see. And uh, it's a lot of things that I saw tonight that we can really build on, teach from, and grow from. Um, but you know, again, that that'll that's just that's just you know uh, what we needed to get done tonight, and how we had to go win the game. And uh, w you know, hopefully, we can grow out of turning the ball over and some of these crazy penalties, and 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 just finish some of these drives. Uh, but to show what we could do running the football. And what DJ's capable of doing, uh, man, he's a load. And, I mean, he ran with some freaking toughness and, and a lot of heart. Um, and, you know, when you can run the ball with Shipley the way we did, I mean, and then also be able to get an extra hat and put that big quarterback in the, in the mix um, and his confidence in how he ran tonight, I think that'll serve us well, you know, as we move forward. Using DJ in that, that power run game, was that opponent specific, just doing what you need to do tonight? Is that something you guys want to incorporate? Well, we game? always, you know, uh, have run our quarterbacks, but that's what we had to do to win the game. I mean, again, just their style of play and, you know, how they were – the structure of their defense tonight, uh, that was the weakness. And, you know, I guess they just didn't either think we could do it or would do it consistently. Uh, so, proud of our guys for doing what they had to do to win this game. Coach, I thought Justin Ross really asserted himself as a leader uh, tonight, uh, making big plays and literally carrying defenders on his back at one point. Yeah, how about that? I mean, unbelievable. Ross had a great game. You know, it was a hard fall. It was hard to, it was hard to find, you know, plays uh, with, with how they were playing. And we missed a couple. I mean, what was DJ? DJ was 18 or 25. He missed three throws. He missed three throws that I can remember. Uh, he missed a bang eight. He was just a, pulled it a little soon. Needed to just squeeze it a little bit. He missed a back shoulder ball, and uh, and he missed a corner route. You know, it, the, he threw it high. It needed to be flat. And uh, you know, if he hits so, those, I mean, twenty one or twenty five. I mean, he was he was much better. Made a great play to in Gata. So we did enough in the past game. Uh, but Ross was awesome. I mean, he 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 kept us on schedule a couple times. Uh, and uh, you know, great job on that one third down. I mean. Are you kidding me? I mean, this guy's got – I think the whole team was hitting him. Uh, it was amazing. And, again, we had a couple of those tight plays. DJ had one where we were, you know, just that extra effort. Uh, and that's what I love as a coach. You know, I love seeing that will to win and that heart and that character. Um, that's what I saw tonight. We got a lot of mistakes. We got a lot of things that we can – when we watch the tape, we're going to just – oh, my gosh. Um, and so many situational things that we had to deal with in the game. Uh, but we won the game. And, uh, you know, we, we finished the first quarter. Uh, good teams get better. And we've got a lot of room for improvement, but, but we're making improvement. And I think, again, to win a game like that tonight uh, will, will help us. Dabo, at the risk of sounding a little basic, but when your growing pains are in season and you have a game again in seven days, just how do you, how do you get out of them? 
just keep playing, you know, and go back to work, practice and study. And, I mean, everybody goes through that. I mean, there's not anybody out there that's, you know, probably not having some. There's Maybe there's some teams that are more experienced on one side of the ball. We don't have a lot of growing pains on defense, but we're, uh, I mean, we did the last couple of years to get to where we are. Um, you know, it's just the nature of kind of who we are right now. You know, we got a true sophomore right tackle. We got a new center. Uh, we got new backs. Uh, we got a new quarterback. We got a true freshman at left guard. You know, so I mean, it's just just learning, just gaining experience uh, as we go, and and coaching them. You know, just teaching and coaching and evaluating and and uh, and then going back to work. So that's just kind of the way it is. That would seem like defensively, guys were kind of. Cramping some down the stretch, and, and other guys just came in and stepped up. I think Barrett Carter was in, like yeah. Keith McGuire, and some of those guys. Yeah. What, what did you see from the depth? Well, that's you saw our depth tonight, you know, and um, we've got we're very fortunate to have good. I mean, again, you got a guy like Baden Spector that is out, and the guy who goes in for him has, you know, 13 tackles. <laughs> so there's not many teams out there that that have that, uh, and and the way we're able to roll the guys uh, in the defensive line. I mean, uh, those young, talented guys that we have when we needed some freshness out there, um, you know, just, again, shows the depth. We just have – we have a lot more depth functionally on defense, a lot more experience, and and they're playing that way. And then offensively, we got some youth, uh, and you got to just play through it. You got to grow. Uh, I wish it was just perfect every time we went out there and we did everything just right, but, you know, that's – that's 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 kind of where we are right now, but we're getting better. And uh, if we can just keep learning, keep showing up, keep preparing, keep fighting, uh, and get a little better fundamentally, and and stop kind of shooting ourselves in the foot, you know, when it comes to these turnovers and the ball being loose and and you know critical penalties, um, you know, we'll 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 be where we need to be. We're building a good foundation, but it ain't gonna get no easier. You know, to go on the road this week. It's the first first time for this this group. Now you got, you know, again, you got a lot of people that haven't played with crowd noise on the road, you know, like like you have this week where it's all against you. Obviously the Georgia game, it was kind of half and half. Um, you know, so the operational procedures and things like that, those are that's an area we're gonna have to work really hard on this week. How do you think Nolan played in his return? Okay. Well, he looked like he played well, you know. I mean, um I'll have to watch the tape to give you a real accurate answer, but you know, I mean, he, he I didn't notice him for anything bad. Uh, you know, he's he's a he's an incredibly smart player. He's always in the right position and um, you know, just really great to be able to get him back. And and then the guys that were able to play those first couple games to get the experience they got, uh, that's gonna pay off for us as well. And then Makuba, he just continues to to get better. He made a couple big plays tonight. Uh, really proud of him. What do you think about Skowski there, particularly on that goal line stand y'all made? Yeah, I mean, he's just, as I said earlier, he's the heart of our team, heart of our defense, and he's just so smart. I mean, that's just a reflection, you know, we called a timeout there because, you know, we, I really wanted to make sure we were right um, with, with, the, with the attached tight end that they had right there. But, um, you know, we had a good call, but, but that's just preparation. I mean, Skowski, that's knowledge. And, again, that's what I talked to our young backers about in the locker room was, you know, that's what knowledge does. That's what preparation does. You know, and again, he's a six-year player. He is so smart. That play he made uh, on the on the right side there, unbelievable. I mean, his closing speed, people don't realize how fast he is. Uh, he made some great, great plays. Now, he'll be the first one to tell you. He'll say, hey, I should have made a tackle on the quarterback on the, the scramble draw a couple times. Uh, but, man, what a, what a game. But that play right there in that moment, critical situation, that's knowledge and preparation uh, paying off. Do you remember the last time you were in this type of developmental stage on offense? Uh, I mean, it's been it's been a little while, you know, where we've had. I mean, the last time we started a freshman in the offensive line, uh, I guess was uh, 16. You know, we won a national championship that year, uh, but we had. Uh, we had a little bit more around him, but we ended up starting. He ended up starting Pollard, and even Ankrum at some point in that year. We ended up having a, a freshman starters there, um, but we had a little bit more experience uh, in that group. Uh, but um, uh, <clears throat> Deshaun was a was a veteran. Yeah, was 16. 
you know, we had a few more veteran pieces, uh, Leggett and those receivers. We had a lot of veteran guys around him. But, you know, this is a little different um, this year. You know, again, you got a lot of things going on from adjustment to live football, uh, stadiums and all that stuff. I think, I mean, that's a definite part of it. Um, and, um, and then just, again, a lot of new pieces, a lot of new pieces. It's more than just one or two. We got a lot of new pieces. Um, so, you know, we're getting better. And, and uh, like I said, um, showed the heart and the toughness that we needed to have tonight to win a game like that. Uh, so proud of our guys. Some of those balls on the ground, how much of that do you feel like is growing pains, or what do you kind of attribute to some of those balls? Well, fundamentals. It's just fundamentals. I mean, you know, again, that's one of the things I, 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 I went over last week with DJ. You know, he had a nice play last week, and he's going to his left, and the ball's in his right arm, and you expose yourself. You don't have, you know, you know all you got is the ball. You're, 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 you're exposed. And... You know, it's just, just kind of a little habit for him that we got to get him out of, you know, as opposed to putting that ball over here. Now he's got a, he's got a hand to kind of protect the ball a little bit. Um, so it's just fundamental. Same thing. I mean, we've had, we've had some exchange issues last week. We had an exchange with Will. We had uh, a drop snap. You know, critic. we were fortunate there. DJ got the first down. But we just dropped the ball, kind of take our eye off the ball. Ball's on the ground. Um, you know, we fumbled the ball in a big turnover last week. I mean, just it's just too much. I mean, we had a receiver put the ball on the ground last week. Just we've got to, you know. And again, if you if you bottom line, you get to it. It's it's fundamental. You know, it's it's not having proper five points of pressure. It's having it in the right, correct arm. Um, and um, you know, we we got to get better. We got to get better there. Did you feel like? seeing DJ run so much tonight, do you think you'll rely on that more for the rest of the season? Well, we're going to do whatever we got to do to win a game. That's what we had to do tonight. Uh, so, you know, whatever we got to do to win the game. Um, I think you got to give Shipley a lot of credit. I mean, he had, what do you have, 21 carries or something like that. And, uh, man, he was he was tremendous. He, he gave us the spark, uh, you know, that we needed. And then, again, uh, DJ, you know, we only – I guess he – I thought he had a couple more, but I guess he only had eight carries. But he averaged almost six yards a carry. Uh, so very effective for us. And, um, uh, and the combination of him and him and Ship got it done tonight in the run game. Uh, and, again, just enough to complement it. And if we come – again, if we just finish a couple of those drives, I mean, we got a great kicker. Uh, we got an incredible kicker. And if we just finish with a couple of either a field goal or one of those touchdowns where we're in, right there in the red zone, you know, it's a different situation. Um, and when you don't – you, you get yourself in a bind, and then all of a sudden crazy things happen, and, and uh, you know, fortunate to overcome it. Did that running the ball made him looser? Sort of? uh, maybe, you know. I mean, I think I think he he really uh, showed a lot of lot of a lot of toughness, and I think uh, I think it was uh, definitely something that that he probably needed, you know, just to have to have to. Have to grit it out. Have to put the team on his back. Have to make some critical, dirty, dirty yards. And uh, uh, I definitely think he grew tonight in a lot of ways. Do you wish you would have got or could have found a way to get EJ in and got in and some more touches, or do you feel like with the defense? There wasn't even going to be many touches outside tonight. Yeah, I'd love for him to touch it. But then if we do that, everybody's like, why didn't run the ball? Because uh, because it's going to be a bunch of incompletions. You know, because again, it, you know, it's you, you got to understand what you're going against. And uh, you know it's a it's a double cloud, you know, guys outside, guys over three guys deep, and their 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 vulnerability was inside, you know, and they know that, uh, but um, I, I guess they didn't think we could sustain it and and stick with it and finish the drives. And again, we we had a lot of drives, but we shot ourselves in the foot, and uh, it almost paid off. But yeah, I'd love for everybody to get more touches and all that, but uh, the object's to win the game. And what we needed to do tonight was run the football, and uh, we ran it effectively. Uh, just didn't just just a little too loose with the ball to finish on a couple of the drives. But you know, Ross had a heck of a game. Uh, Frank had had one nice catch and had a PI uh, on another target. And Gata had a couple of nice plays uh, as well. Big one, big one uh, over on their sideline late in the game. There, I guess that was fourth quarter. That was a big, big play for us. Big conversion and. Uh, 
So we did we did uh, again enough to to keep the ball moving. Nine of fifteen on third down. You know you're doing a lot of good things, uh, but again the name of the game is points. You know for we need to get more. Fortunately they didn't get many uh, and couldn't score a touchdown. And that's the difference in the game. We got enough to win it. Has Shipley shown you enough to be the number one back at this point? Well, I mean, we'll, we'll, you know, again, it's one game. We'll go back and watch the tape and we'll kind of, you know, assess everything and see where we are this week. That's what we do every week. But uh, obviously we have a lot of confidence in him. I mean, he, he, he kind of – and, again, we're going to have games where somebody's going to get the hot hand. That's going to happen um, with the backs that we have. And tonight he was the guy that kind of got the hot hand and kind of sparked us, and uh, we rode him. We'll take a couple of questions from Zoom if anybody has one. Zoom gave up about four hours ago. <laughs> he said to heck with it. All right, thank you all.